But let's say that there's an insurance agent in Allen, Texas. I don't know who it might be, but he wants to he wants to reach the he's a personal lines agent. He wants to do something to reach the end user instead of like how we do our podcasting where we're, you know, talking to people in the industries that we serve. Uh, or let's say it's a mortgage broker that wants to move into an area that's maybe 60 miles from where they are and they want to reach the end user, the person that's going to buy a mortgage. What are your suggestions for doing a podcast that does not bore the spots off a of giraffe uh, that, would, that would, you know, reach those end users and cause the telephone to start ringing? I think it's a, a pretty easy answer. Um, you need to have a podcast about something that the person in that community cares about, mm -hmm. right? The easiest examples are talk about restaurants and small businesses and developments and things that are going on in that community and become a resource. You know, it's the same way that we use for Alexa flash briefings. If you want to get in your community and have an impact in that community about something, you need to talk about something that people want to listen to. Mm -hmm. And if, if you're an insurance agent, if you're a, a mortgage professional, a real estate professional, the clientele that you want are business owners, people connected to those business owners, people that are doing things in the community, they're participating in the nonprofits and the, you know, uh, professional organizations. So what happens is if you can share information and curate information that they care about, they're going to listen and they're going to find out that you're an insurance professional, a mortgage professional, a real estate professional, whatever it is, just because you're the host and you're the one delivering it. It's, it's the same hack that I tell people, well, how do I use Facebook to, to connect with people and to you know, get out my message without just putting out spammy content? Go find three to five to 10 Facebook groups that are about topics or demographics or whatever that you fit into. It could be home brewing, it could be triathlon, it could be a mom group, a dad group, whatever, and go participate in that group and have conversations and actually say something that people give a shit about that's not specific to you or, or, or spammy about yourself. What do they, what do we all do? Who is that? And you float over and a little box pops up that talks about what you do or they click on it. There's a reason that uh, social media stalking or Facebook creeping. There's a reason these words exist. It's because we all do it. Mm -hmm. And so if you're out there adding value, people will figure out who you are and what you do and they'll start consuming some of your content so long as it's not spammy or, or commercial all the time. I love what Bradley does and he's exactly right. He sells without people knowing they're being sold to because people don't want to be sold. They want to buy something. They want to make the conscious decision, not be manipulated into something. That's a great answer. I don't think I could say it any better than that. Yeah. That's one of those drop the mics and walk off. Type make, deal. make sure you're passionate about it though. Yeah. Yes. You know? very much. If I'm not passionate about star Wars, I'm not doing a star Wars podcast, yeah. <laughs> but if I am passionate about star Wars and I do a star Wars podcast, it's going to come through mm -hmm. and it's going well, to be much more genuine. You and, know? The, and the same can be said if, you know, if I don't do mountain biking, I don't need to join the Facebook group. Agreed on, you know, closed Facebook group on mountain biking because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to show that I don't really know what I'm talking about at some point, yep. right? And don't be the guy or girl that's like, hey, happy Veterans Day. Hey, have you noticed rates are real low? Right, <laughs> yeah. Don't be that person. I know there's somebody listening to this right now that that's what they're doing. It's like right. everything is tied back. No, give value to your audience and eventually you make a sale. Don't try to turn every single conversation into, you should do business to me, right? It's yeah. the equivalent of going into a bar and asking every girl out. Eventually, somebody's going to say yes, but is it the right yes? Is it the yes that you want? Right. You well, know? and, and I'm, I'm going to say something that's highly likely to be very unpopular within a lot of people that, that market their businesses. There are certain holidays or national days that you might share a graphic or acknowledge in your social media that does not need your business logo attached to. <laughs> when, we're, when we're talking about the anniversary of 9-11 and you share a graphic of the Twin Towers and you're putting your company logo next to it, I might just befriend you because you've completely missed the point. You're